when a game is atmospheric, it grabs you. It pulls you into its world and immerses you in the visuals, in the sound, in the feeling of being in that world. Far away is a puzzle kind of escape game. I consider it more of a puzzle game, to be fair, but it is an atmospheric... It's an atmospheric feeling game that as soon as I started playing it, I knew I loved it. So, how do you play Far Away? It's very simple. It is a point-and-click style puzzle game, and being that it is a kind of escape room game with levels, I'm not going to be showing you a lot. But, I think what I am going to show you is gonna push you over the edge just enough to play it on your own, and you'll want to experience this wonderful mystery. Because it is kind of a mystery. It's got hidden notes that tell a story. But that's not why we're here. We're here because it's also fun to play. So, to play, like I said, point and click, mouse, left click. You just kind of click on the screen in areas you want to visit. Here's a puzzle. It's a little weird to understand, but the puzzles are complicated and clever enough to make it easy difficult. It's it's challenging, but not brain-meltingly challenging. For instance, uh, we have some levers over here that, with the left click, we can uh, click and drag all around. We can also click a couple things in the environments. Archaeologists will not be happy with us. And deducing the puzzle variants, uh, the levers have something to do with the markings on the wall. So, if I take the one we were just at and move it all the way down to here, that door opens up just a little bit more. Do the same thing over here. This one. And then this one goes there. Lovely. And then we're in. Ooh, free ladder. We have a little bit of inventory space down at the bottom. That's all the inventory space you're gonna get, so. I don't know. My mind went blank there. Uh, what's over here? Golden pin. Oop, I think I broke it. Uh, alright. It's a pattern. This reminds me, this game, uh, gives me the witness vibes. Not for the puzzle elements, but for the aforementioned atmospheric feeling of the world. The puzzle elements actually reside more to mist, in my opinion. But it's been a while since I played Mist, so I could be entirely wrong. But I don't think I am. Going up. And up again. Ooh. Death to pottery. And right here is our exit. We need something in that little that little tilted square diamond. Uh to open it with. And there's this over here little pedestal. It's a bit of a thing here. Maybe we can use the tiled thing that we found down below. So, ooh, it's that a puzzle element of things, things the red little lines are connected to move as well. It's not too difficult. We do this, 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 and this, and then we just cut off the edge bits. 
Can we open that up? Nice. Back it up. Back it in. Let me begin. Open that up and hey! We found a little tile. Move it all back to you. And then... There. There's our exit. And that's all I'm going to show you for this game. In total, there are six levels. Uh, this is not the full version, though. The full version, I think you gotta pay for, but you get 12 levels. Um... Judging on, like, what I'm feeling now, and how much I actually am enjoying the puzzle elements and the slidey mechanics, um, if it's cheap, I'd be willing to pay five bucks for it. I would, but if you're uncertain of that, and being that this is a free Flash game show, uh, Far Away itself is well worth the look. It is probably like 10, 15 minutes worth of your time. You'll complete it. It's, it's very fun. The link to it will be in the description below. My name is Ben Dark Arts, and uh, once more into the breach, dear friends, enter the glowing void. Oh god, it burns!